How's the girl laser Bruce is up? I'll be six killing. Welcome back to Yakuza 3 Remastered. Uh, we've got um one side mission to do, and other than that, I think we are just gonna be doing some more main missiony stuff. We're meant to be scouting for a for a girl. My presentation went great. Time to tell celebrate with some tentaket tentakaten. Oh, is that the shochu made from perilla leaves? All the girls at the office are obsessed with it. We usually mix it with cranberry juice. You know, we should get the team together and head down to a bar. Good idea. Everyone's been working so hard lately, after all. Might be nice to take a night off. Well then, let's get going. Mind giving everyone at the company a call? Ten Takatan, huh? I should remember this when I'm over at the cabaret club. Sure. Anyway. Yeah, we're meant to be scouting for a... For a hostess club girl. And also we've got main story stuff to do, also. Which I think is back this way. Actually, can we look at the map? Where's the map? Alright, let's uh, head towards the side mission stuff. You know we got to get the side missions done, at the very least. It's one thing to not pick up all the collectibles, it's an entirely another one to not do all the side stuff. Ah. Sorry dude, out of my way. Hey bro, I'm extra bored right now. Too much time, no money and nothing to do. How about you and me kill some time? <laughs> Want me to kill something, alright? Stop! <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> I need some more impact with those hits, man. <laughs> the sound effects have definitely improved in, in newer games. I think that's that's the one thing that's really different as far as uh, the combat goes. The sound effects are just really chunkier now. Hello. Hey, you're not from Okinawa, are you? Did you come here from Tokyo? Yeah. I knew it. I've never seen anyone from Okinawa wear expensive leather shoes with pointy toes like that. Can you really tell where I'm from just by my shoes? Never mind that. Anyway, I've always wanted to visit Tokyo. Maybe you could tell me about it. I'll get you something to make up for it. Promise. Okay. Sure, I guess I could spare a few minutes. Yay! There's a bar I like right near here. So let's grab some drinks and talk away. Talking away. I'm Keida Anya. You can just call me Keida. I'm Kitty. I used to live in Kamurocho. If you've heard of it, it's one of the seedier parts of Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. Nope, definitely don't know it. I'm so jealous though. The closest I've ever gotten was a field trip to Kyoto. Aww. And I mean, there's so much to love about Tokyo, right? All we've got here in Okinawa is fish and salty air. <laughs> I don't know. I think Okinawa has its charms. But it's nothing compared to Tokyo. Oh gee, I wish I could live up there, but I guess just hearing about it's a good start for now. Sure. What do you want to know? Well, if I'm going to move up there, I'd have to find a place to live, right? How much is rent? Jeez, I don't know. Lots. Let's go for the cheapest one. Well, if you don't mind living in the suburbs, you can find decent apartments for about 60,000 yen. Oh, that's actually not so bad. When you say suburbs, you're talking like one town over from Komrocho, right? More like an hour away. The only way to get rent that cheap is to live pretty far from the city. An hour? That's like, not even in Tokyo anymore. Anyway, next question. If I do end up living in Tokyo, should I bring in my car with me? Everyone's always driving around the city on TV and stuff. I'd never be able to shop without a car anyway. Plus, how would I even get around? I drove into town today after all. You'd use a bus, wouldn't you? Ditch the car or take the train, there you go. Ditch the car. Trains will take you everywhere you need to go. Aww. How am I going to do all my shopping like that, though? Am I supposed to spend half my time on a train just to go buy some fish? It's more than just trains, by the way. You also have a subway. Taxis, buses. Anything you could need. Besides, there are stores everywhere. So half the time you won't even need to get on a train at all. I mean, I guess. But it's so hard to imagine life without a car. Oh, there you are, Kaida. Kaida. 
I knew I'd find you here. Oh, Marmiji chan. You sure do know me well. It's not hard to guess when she when you always go to the same bar. So who's this? This is Kitty san. He's from Tokyo. We were just chatting. You still thinking about moving? I'm sorry, my friend here. About my friend here. She's so starstruck by the big city. We keep trying to tell her that she won't last a minute up in Tokyo. But she refuses to listen. That's not true. I can do it if I try, you know. Please, Kitty san. You know Tokyo best. Tell her why it would be such a bad idea. If you want to go, then go. You have to see for yourself whether you can make it or not. <laughs> Kitty san, I knew you'd understand. I can understand why you're worried about her, but if you stop her from trying, she'll just end up resenting you guys. I suppose you're right. <laughs> I'll manage, don't worry. And I need help, and if I need help, I'll just give Kitty san a call. What? Is that okay? Well, I did tell you to go. Here's my number. Give me a ring if you ever need a hand. Wow, thanks. It's not much, but take this. <laughs> Socky burger set. Okay, we're gonna go now. I'll take care of the tab. Yes, free meal. Sounds like Kaida will end up in Tokyo before too long. 2000 XP though. <gasps> Billiards. No, we can't do that stuff now. Later. Later. Goodbye. <laughs> we have to leave. Hey, what about her? As far as being a hostess goes, she might be a good fit. Let's see here. Okay. She doesn't seem to be a talker, and I doubt she knows all that much about the world. But I can tell she's very diligent. Maybe I should approach her. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Okay, let's see what I can come up with. Hello there. Huh? What? Oh, were you talking to me? Yeah. Sorry if this is coming out of nowhere, but... I find you absolutely fascinating. Could I have a moment of your time? Smooth, kitty. Smooth. <laughs> you may. What do you want to talk about? I'd like to introduce you to a job that I think is perfect for you. Oh, are you rec a recruiter for one of those cabaret clubs? Yeah, I am. At a club over at Hatsumachi. That does sound somewhat appealing. I mean, I could always use the work. Well, what are we waiting for? Show me this club of yours. With pleasure. Oh, and the name's Kitty. Kazuma Kitty. Alright then, Kazuma Kitty. You can call me Joe. I'm 21, I love to garden, and I'm licensed in CPR. Anyway, that's me in a nutshell. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Licensed in CPR sounds pretty good too. I'm sure that'll be a benefit. Welcome to our club. We specialize in helping our hostesses reach the top of the industry. But first, we need to decide on a stage name for you. Something that would fit the persona you want to project. Joe is good. I don't have a problem with her name. Joe, huh? That's a good name. From now on, you'll use that while working at the club. That's the same name. <laughs> awesome. I'm very much looking forward to this. Alright. Let's get you changed into an outfit worthy of your grace and charm. See? As soon as you walk out of that door, you'll be reborn as a head-turning queen of the night. Oh my god, we're actually dressing her up now. Do, do, do they have effects like in some of the other ones? I assume not. Purple's good. Let's go with purple. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that the new girl? Yeah, and you are? I'm Aya. Uh, and you must be the new girl. I guess that makes you our senpai. Hmm, I suppose I should teach you the tricks of the trade, to help this job go smoothly. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much of a senpai now, would I? So, when it comes to doing well as a hostess, customer satisfaction is everything. Right? Right. Oh my god, look at the textures on her face, she's horrifying! That's why it's important to get a grasp on the customer's preferences, and do your best to satisfy them. You should be able to get an idea of what the guests want when you walk the floor. Anyway, just get out there and see what you can learn. Use your eyes and ears. So you're saying that I should gather information and coordinate Joe's attributes and appearance. That way she could better satisfy the customers. Yep. <laughs> Am I being a little too much? Either way, do your best and don't get stressed. Both of you guys. Are we going to be here for a while now? Get a feel for your customers' preferences by walking around the club and then return to the break room to coordinate your hostess to fit their ideal image. Alright, time to hit the floor. 
Okay, are we are we in this now? Where are the people? I want a nice gorgeous girl to come sit on my lap. I want to be floored by how gorgeous the girl is. I think they might want gorgeous girls. <laughs> the sound of it. Just a feeling. Just a feeling. She should be drop dead gorgeous. The way things work around here is our girls go onto the floor a total of three times to serve customers. Each service is followed by a break period. During that time you can train your hostess of choice and coordinate their appearance. I'll explain training another time. Alright, what do we need then that's, that we can do that's not going to cost like, an absolute bomb, right? How much money have we got? That's 960,000 yen? No wonder I can't afford it. Jesus. That's 1.56 million yen. Let's do the showy earrings as well. And how much is the hair? We only got 100 grand. Uh, let's do... Straight up do, I guess. Regular colors fine. Let's go with that. I don't know what I'm doing. I got I got really good at it in Yakuza Zero. Are we are we heading towards gorgeous here? Because that was kind of the plan. I mean, it doesn't really look like it. Refined and gorgeous, maybe. More than anything else, has she got a customer now? I've talked to a truly gorgeous woman before. Hey, she's got a customer! She's doing good. Joe seems to be keeping herself occupied. Good. Good. We did good. I won't accept anything less than gorgeous. Shit, does that make me shallow? <laughs> yes! Yes it does! You fucking moron! <laughs> How's it going? I'm not sure there's any more I can do. Um, I can give you more accessories. Um, I don't know what else we can really afford. Is there like makeup stuff we can do? Is that how expensive is that shit? Like, does that cost? Can I just have a a, a, a preset that is gorgeous? Like, activate gorgeous. There you go. I don't know. Red? Does it matter? <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, look, it grew! <laughs> okay, we need to get back to doing other things, don't we? We really do. Oh, she's still got a customer. And everyone's talking about gorgeousness again. I think we pretty much used up our entire budget for tonight, so uh, hopefully she get, she makes some money out there. Otherwise we could be screwed. So we've got the improved models and the funny textures that makes them uh, look a bit iffy. Way to go, Joe son Get a really nice aesthetic there. And I know for a fact that customers notice too. Keep up the good work, and you'll be number one in no time. Thanks for your support. Of course. We hostess has got to stick together, you know. Kitty son, Joe san's rank went up. I can tell you've both been putting in a lot of effort. Keep up the excellent work. Great work today. Let's aim for the next milestone. How much did we make? Did we, did we do good? Joe individual sales nine grand. Jesus, I spent like seventy grand on her and she made nine grand. Yikes. Profit six grand. Brutal. Well, I mean, we don't have to spend any more money on it now, do we? Can we go now? I need to go back and do other stuff. Yes, indeed. Yep, we got another another side mission out there. Uh, somewhere. So let's get out there and find someone's ass to kick. Get out of my way, doves, pigeons, whatever you are. Birds. 
Bad birds. We're going into that mall thing, that underground mall, right? Well, not underground. The street mall. Ryukyu Boulevard. Oh, that music's nice. Is that a UFO catcher? Sounds like a UFO catcher. Hello? Is it you? You two. Uh -huh. Stop giving me the runaround, man. You're in the wrong here for owing all this money. Now you're gonna pay. Please, not my Awamori. That's the only thing keeping my family going. Fine, then I'll just take the land you're sitting on instead. Bring out the deed now. <laughs> what? But my ancestors established this distillery generations ago. I can't just hand it over like that. A deed, huh? I hope this has something to do with that resort development deal. Hmm. Hello. What's going on here? You mentioned a land deed? Please help me. This guy's after my Awamori. I don't know who you think, who you are, or where you came from. But you better stay out of our business. If this has something to do with the resort development, then I'm afraid it is my business too. I've taken somewhat an interest in that issue. Huh? I ain't talking about any resort. This chump owes me a fat stack of cash. I was just telling them that if he can't pay up, that he can make good on his debt by giving me the deed to his land. So that's what this is about. Uh -huh. This is going nowhere. I'll let you off the hook today. Either pay up in full, or bring me that deed. Your choice. <laughs> Thank you so much. You saved me from that brute. Not really. Sounds like you're still gonna have to pay off that debt. Yes, of course. I did borrow all that money after all. But I didn't have a choice. If I hadn't taken out that loan, the distillery would have gone belly up. You run a distillery? That's right. It's a bar nearby where we make our own local spirits. Awamori, if you never heard of it. Oh, and my name's Matsushima. Kitty. <sighs> Good meeting you, Kitty son. A few years back, I borrowed 20 mil to try and expand my business. Complete with the complete with the other big distilleries in town. You know, compete, sorry. And I take it the investment didn't pay off. Actually, it was a resounding success. Though we age our Awamori for years to create the perfect flavor. Turns out the deadline to pay back those loans came around while this most recent batch is still aging. When was the deadline? <sighs> it's actually not for another year still, but now they're saying if I don't pay back the full 20 mil in a week, I'm gonna have to hand over the distillery. That's absurd. Don't you have a contract? About that. I looked over the fine print and it did say the lender has the right to demand repayment before the deadline. That's how they get you. Still, only a week? They must really be in a hurry. If only I had another year. I can pay it back for sure. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that's when the Awamori will be ready for market. I'll be able to pay off my debt, no questions asked. I tried to explain that to the loan shark, but he kept insisting I pay them right now. Maybe if I could find that heirloom Grandpa told me about. Hmm? What's this about an heirloom? Oh, just something my grandfather mentioned on his deathbed. He said if I was ever in trouble, I could sell our extremely valuable family heirloom for extra cash, but I don't have the slightest idea where it is. Or if it even exists, for that matter. I've heard that story before. Most family heirlooms don't end up being the windfall people expect them to be. Why don't you ta talk to that loan shark again? Try to explain your current situation. That might be better than putting all your eggs in the heirloom basket. He already knows my situation. That's why he's demanding I pay now. He just wants to steal the distillery from me. And the stock of Awamori we have aging. That'll need him way more than just the 20 mil I owe. That must be in his goal from the beginning then. Set up the contract, and go back on it and take not just the distillery, but the booze too. The family heirloom is my only hope. Apparently it's buried somewhere on the beach, near some orphanage. Evening Pride, I think it's called. Something like that. Wait, you mean Morning Glory? Oh yeah, that's the one. You know it? Know it? I run the place. Never guess there'd be buried treasure nearby though. What luck. Fate must have brought us together. Please. Would you consider helping me find this precious heirloom? I'll make it worth your time, I promise. Sure. Awamori is an essential part of Okinawan culture. I won't just stand by while you get threatened. Let's find that heirloom. Thank you so much. I can't believe you're really so willing to help a stranger like me. You're too kind. Thank me once we found the thing. So, do you have any other clues that could help us find this heirloom? I do, actually. Our family has a special song that tells us where the heirloom is hidden. The sound of crashing waves upon the sand so hot, a golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. 
The sound of crashing waves must mean it's near the ocean. Makes sense. That would be the beach in front of Morning Glory. Yeah, that's definitely the place my grandpa mentioned to me. The problem is, the second line, a golden foam flows over the sacred turtle spot. I think golden and turtle must be big hints, but I got no clue as to what it means. Me neither. For now, let's go take a look near Morning Glory. Yes, let's do that. Would you mind waiting here a moment before we head out? Why? I need to check up on some of my awamori in the distillery to make sure it's still aging properly. When you're in the middle of the situation, you sure are passionate about your work. I may not be the best business, make the best business decisions, but I'm damn good at making fine alcohol. In that case, stay here and keep an eye on your stock. I'll go look for the treasure on my own. Thanks for being so understanding. If you find anything, please just call my cell. My number is 555-292-6674. That's 555-Awamori, if you couldn't tell. Right, I'll let you know what I find. 555-Awamori. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button for, um... I keep pressing select to try and get to the map, but it's the start button that gets you to the map. Which is very odd. Well, we're heading back to the, to, um... We're heading back to, to base now anyway, to base camp. So we can look for the Awamori while we're there. That'll be nice. I want to go back to Morning Glory. Thank you. Oh, we got upgrades we need to do. We should upgrade our stats soon. I keep forgetting to do that. Let's have a look. Let's meet a turtle rock after school tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> what are we gonna play? Turtle rock, huh? Upgrades. Let's see if we got upgrades. Let's do, um... We could increase our health. That would probably be quite nice. Swiftly return to your feet after being thrown. Fill the heat gauge if your health is flashing red. That'd be quite nice too. I really like having my heat gauge boosty though. Can we, have we got enough? Yeah, we do. I like having my heat gauge boosted up, that's all. Oh, Akasaka-san. Good to see you again, kitty san I told you I'd stop by, didn't I? Yeah, though I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. <laughs> Once an idea crosses my mind, I simply have to see it through as soon as possible. Taichi, in the house. Yo, Uncle Kaz. Hey, you've got to say hello to our guest. And take your shoes off before you go inside. Hi, Uncle Kaz. We're home. You two have a good day at school? Mm-hmm. Oh, a guest. Hi, mister. Hi. <laughs> Hello there, kids. Come on, Izumi-chan. Okay. Such energetic kids. Indeed. Oh, no. He's been beaten up again. あれ、お客さん。ああ、挨拶しろ。初めまして、シロです。ほう、ちゃんと挨拶もしっかりできて気持ちのいい子だ。おい、あんたが桐生だな。この子供にあんたはどういう教育してるんだ。見ろ、
He thinks he's better than all of us regular kids just because he doesn't have parents. Don't speak to him like that, young man. He didn't choose to be an orphan, none of these kids did. If you were really his friend, you would help him solve his problems, not make them worse. Whatever, you old fart. Well, I never. I feel sorry for that boy's parents. Though I'm sure being his teacher is hard enough, Hashimoto-sensei. Well, I should be going. <laughs> yes, you should. Fuck off. <laughs> I must say, Kiri-san, it warms my heart to see how happy and healthy your children are. You have the full support of the city, I assure you. Akasaka-sensei, I can't wait to go golfing with you again. You're a wonderful man. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Kaz. Hey, Haruka. How was school? Yeah. Good. Are uh, the others back already? Yeah, they got home a while ago. Shiro too? I hope he's okay. Don't worry, Haruka. Shiro's gonna be just fine. Really? That's a relief. I was so worried when I heard he was getting bullied. But I'm glad everything's gonna be okay. Me too. <laughs> well, I better go get dinner started. Be careful with the knives. Well, yeah. I'm sure she can handle it. She's been in some dangerous shit. What's for dinner, actually? Uh... Come on, give it back. I will, just... Not yet. Sorry, Taichi. Sounds like Taichi and Ayako are up in arms over something. I better go take a look. Indeed. Just give me my money back. I... Don't have it right now. Can you wait until I get my allowance? But that's not till next week. And the new Ninja Rangers manga comes out today. All the kids at school are going to read it before me. I'm sorry, Taichi. Ugh, whatever. You better pay me back soon, liar face. What are you doing with all your money? What does that say? Oji Kon... No... Oh, I don't know kanji. Um... <laughs> Why didn't you pay Tai Chi back, Ayako? Did you lose the money or accidentally spend it? Um, come on, this isn't like you. When you borrow something from someone, you have to make sure you give it back. But, I, um, don't be afraid. You can tell me. Someone stole it. What? One of the other kids? Are you sure? Maybe it just fell out of your pocket. No, I keep all my money in my wallet inside my bag. So whoever stole it would have to know it was there. Alright. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. No. Ayako, we have to find out what happened. But, I'll go round up the others. Wait for me in the dining room. Okay. Could to go round them up? Jesus. That's gonna be the hard part of running an orphan, is rounding everybody up. Hey. Hey, can you two go to the dining room for me? What's wrong, Uncle Kaz? Nothing really. We just need to have a family discussion about something. Oh, okay. Did something happen? Tell you later. See you girls in the dining room. Okay. Is there more out on the beach? Gotta be. Yep. Where's Turtle Rock? Where's the Turtle Rock they were talking about? Hey, you lot. Korji. Oh, Uncle Kaz. What's up? Can you three go and wait for me in the dining room? Isn't it kind of early for dinner? And we're gonna have a house meeting. Why? What happened? You'll know soon enough. Just go wait for me, okay? Alright. Come on. I wanna look for Turtle Rock already. What is this? Looks like something washed ashore. I love wood boxes. <laughs> They're my favorite. There's a manila clam in the box. That's random. Why would it come in a box? Better than manila, better than a manila folder. This looks like it probably has some secrets hiding behind it. Can we go look at this? I want to find Turtle Rock before we go. Oh, I can't go back there. Lame. Lame. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the dining room then. There must be other kids to run up still. We seem to have a few of them. Oh, here's some. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Ah. Uncle Kaz, you gotta help. I gave Ayako some money, but she's not giving it back. I know. I heard you two arguing earlier. 
Then why won't you do something? I am. Go wait in the dining room. All of us are going to have a talk about what's going on here. What do you mean? It looks like someone stole the money from Ayako. Huh? Like, someone here? I'm not sure yet. That's why I want to have this meeting. Just wait for me in the dining room, okay? Yeah, okay. Let's go see if Haruka wants to join for this fantastic party we're having. Where you been, Uncle Kaz? We're supposed to be getting dinner ready. Looks like dinner's gonna have to wait. Huh? Why? Ayako's money has gone missing. Huh? Do you think someone stole it? Sounds like it. One day it was in her wallet, the next it was gone. That's awful. Anyway, we're gonna meet in the dining room. I want you there too. Alright. <laughs> She's doing the arm wave thing too. Stop it! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Are we missing someone? There's a there's a seat missing. Uh, an empty spot. Who did we miss? Maybe they're around here? Ah, uh, here we go. What's up, Uncle Kaz? There's something we need to talk about. Wait for me in the dining room, okay? Okie dokie. <laughs> Stop it! Well, that's everyone. Time to find out what happened. She did it too, with the arms. It's a shame I can't run around here. It's quite slow getting around. But at least I can look at this fantastic shirt while I um, get around. It is a pretty fantastic shirt. And that's pretty much all we know. Ayako is really worried, and rightfully so. The money got taken out of her wallet, after all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do. But if one of you stole the money, I need you to speak up. Ayako? When did you first notice it was gone? Um, I think it was two days ago. It's gonna be this one across across the table from her, because she's looking down. Alright then, did you notice anything weird going on? Were there any strangers hanging around or anything? Uh, I think I saw something. Riona was digging around in Ayako's bag. Riona? Ayako-chan said I could borrow her paint, so I was getting it out of her bag. Ah, uh, you don't think I stole your money, do you, Uncle Kaz? Of course not. Now that I think about it, didn't Mitsuo just buy a new model set? It's a pretty fancy one, too. Kind of suspicious timing, don't you think? Well, Mitsuo? What, how'd you get the money for something like that? Huh? I saved up for weeks, that's how. I didn't do anything wrong, Uncle Kaz. I even stopped buying snacks so I could save up quicker. Besides, don't they say the first guy to speak up is usually the one who did it? What was that? You heard me. Stop it, you two. Uncle Kaz, what do we do? Alright, we're done here. This was clearly a mistake. But somebody stole the money, right? Yeah, he's right. Look, we're not going to keep sitting here flinging accusations at each other. That's not what being a family is about. But I'll say it again. If one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever you want. I won't tell the others. The only thing that ac that accomplished is making everyone doubt each other. Although, we'd be missing a lot more than Ayako's money if the thief had come from outside. So as much as I hate to admit it, one of the kids must have stolen it. Guess the only option now is looking through their things. Are we going to go through their stuff? <laughs> Ugh, I don't like that. Oh, there she is. I knew it was her. She looked guilty as. At the table. What were you doing in here, Eddie? Uh, nothing. That's Ayako's bag, right? You know you can't dig around in there without her permission. Come on. Just tell me what you were doing. Or is there a reason you don't want to say? You're wrong. Well, that was quick. She's <laughs> Stop doing the arm wave. Uncle Kaz, what's wrong with Eddie? I found her looking through your bag. Huh? Oh. Is something else missing? Nuh uh. Actually, the money's back in my wallet. What? Eddie. She obviously stole it and then put it back because she felt bad. I bet she's on the beach. Yeah, let's check the beach. If I live next to the beach, every time I run away, I'd run to the beach. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Alright, Eddie. It's time you tell me what's going on. I'm sorry, Uncle Kaz. 
I'm really, really sorry. So it was you. I promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I didn't have any money. Then why'd you promise? I never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they get way more allowance than I do. And you have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never asked me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I was really happy. I couldn't say no to that, so I just took the money. I was going to give it back next time I got my allowance, I swear. But I'm sorry, Uncle Kaz. I'm glad you're planning to pay it back. But you can't borrow something that's not yours without asking first. That's stealing. I know. But you gave the money back. And now you've confessed too. That's real brave of you. The next step now is apologizing to, ya to Ayako. Think you can do that for me, Eddie? But I made everyone so mad. Nobody's going to forgive me. Especially not Ayako. さあ、勇気を出せ。あ、綾子ちゃん、あ、私ありがとう。そしてごめん。え、なんでなんで綾子ちゃんが謝るの本当はね、私 エリちゃんがお金持っていくところ見ちゃってたんだ。でもね、私私その場でエリちゃんのこと止めてあげられなかった。エリちゃんのことを本当に思ったら私あの場で言うべきだった。後悔してるんだ。私の方がお姉ちゃんなのに勇気がなかった私にもっと勇気があればこんな大きなことにならなかったのにだからごめん私も許してごめんねごめんね Cute. Damn, we're a good dad. <laughs> Considering we never had a proper dad. Come on, you two. Let's get back inside. Huh? What's wrong? Uh. Everyone's so angry. I wonder what they're gonna do when they find out Eddie took the money. I mean, Koji and Riona are already fighting. What do we do, Uncle Kaz? Hmm. Everyone's gonna hate me. Nobody's gonna hate anyone. I'll tell you what. Leave the talking to me. What I need you to do two to do is Got it? Mm. I'm so sorry, Uncle Kaz. Come on, let's get everyone in the dining room. Okay, I'll go round them up. Me too. Still wanna know where Turtle Rock is though. <laughs> God damn it, where are you, Turtle Rock? If I see a turtle, I'll know where Turtle Rock is. It's where the turtles hang out. It's gotta be, right? That's why it's called that. <laughs> Listen up. We've got Ayako's money back. Really? Then you know who the thief is? Not so fast. I actually have to apologize to all of you. Huh? Why? Well, Eddie came to me yesterday saying she found some money. But I guess it slipped my mind today. Seriously, Eddie? Where'd you find it? Um, in the yard. And how much was it? A thousand yen. Which is exactly how much you were missing. Right, Ayaka? Yeah. Meaning there's a good chance the money Eddie found yesterday is the same money that we're missing from Ayaka's bag. There's no other possibility. Don't you guys think? Um, I guess. Mm, Sounds about right to me. So then nobody stole the money? Why was I getting blamed for it? I'm oh, sorry, Mitsuo. All of this could have been avoided if I just remembered sooner. Everyone, I'm really sorry. Sorry's not good enough. 
Yeah, I got called a thief. Yeah, me too. Hold on, guys. Wait, I'm the one who dropped the money. So if you're gonna get mad at anyone, get mad at me. I... I should have said something sooner too. I'm really sorry everyone. See, Uncle Kaz was just a little forgetful. I think we should be glad that none of us turned oh. out to be thieves. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Riona. Don't worry about it. And I'm sorry for suspecting you, Mitsuo. Oh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I probably deserved it for how I treated Koji. Hey, it's all in the past now. I'm just glad I got my money back. So now I'm realizing I'm starving. When's dinner, Uncle Kaz? I want to eat too. We haven't even started making it. Me three. Oh yeah, we totally forgot about dinner. Right, let's get moving. And make it snappy, Uncle Kaz. Heh, <laughs> try not to eat the table while we're gone. Actually, why don't you all go play outside while we cook? We'll come get you when, when it's ready. Okay. Yeah, go play outside and get even hungrier. Well, guess we better get started. Right. I can do this. Be careful with the knives, remember? Chop, chop, chop. Uncle Kaz? Uncle Kaz? What's wrong, Taichi? There's that guy with the curly hair. I just saw him again. Are you sure? Yeah, he's in that blue truck. I'll be spying on us again. It's definitely him. Alright, I'll handle it. Make sure everyone gets inside. Okay. I'm gonna go take a look outside. Think you can handle dinner while I'm gone, Haruka? Of course. Be careful, Uncle Kaz. I'll be fine, don't worry. But if I'm not going, not back in time for dinner, you guys can start without me. Okay. Where are we going? We're gonna go kick... Oh no, we're friends with Rik... Is it Rikia? Rikia. We're friends with him now, right? Makes sense to me. I just want to... Hello? <laughs> I don't see him anywhere. Maybe Taichi was wrong. Maybe. Maybe we could go look for Turtle Rock instead. Who knows? <gasps> turtle! No. Is that a turtle? What is it? What the hell is that? Is that a fucking coconut? It could have been a turtle, you know. That would have been awesome. But no. You have to be some kind of coconut. <laughs> be that way. Where's Taichi? The kids are gone. Hey, uh... また今日は、そういうんじゃねえんです。ん今日は兄貴にどうしても頼みたいことがあって。A favor, huh? I think your boss is pissed at me. <laughs> like super pissed. What kind of favor are we talking? Got to do with the little lady. You mean the girl with the sketchbook? That's right. Two nights ago, she just disappeared. Nobody knows where she could have gone. You think she ran away? Don't know. We've got men searching the streets and all, but they haven't found so much as a trace of her yet. And have you gone to the police? Well, not exactly. Why not? You should file a missing persons report. I don't know that we really can. What do you mean? Well, the truth of it is, she's the daughter of a guy the boss used to do business with. Now the boss is taking care of the girl. Yeah, but he never officially adopted her. If the cops found out about that, they'd ship her back to her parents, no questions asked. And we don't want that? Uh. Right. Saki-san's parents are real scum of the earth, let me tell you. Her dad gambled all their money away and then some. Then would come home stinking to booze and beat the daylights out of the girl and her mum. Her mum, on the other hand, was always sleeping around. Acted like she didn't want a damn thing to do with her. So then Nakahara took Saki in to protect her. Yep. Three years back we got asked to collect on her dad's gambling debt. So the boss went over to their house. But when he walked inside... What happened? He found this guy, the guy dead, hanging blue-faced from a rope in their living room. Saki-san still clutching his lifeless leg. And her mum? Probably off with one of her fuckboys. 
lady never gave a single shit about Saki-san. Which is why Nakahara took her in. Yep. The boss looks scary, sure. But he's got a good heart. It just wasn't in him to leave Saki-san like that. And yeah, he complained at first about how much trouble it was raising a kid. But it wasn't long till he ended up a proud father. Now he treats Saki-chan like she's his own flesh and blood. That's amazing. Yep, just like us with uh, Haruka. But word has that, that his, his, her mum's back in town. That she wants to take Saki-san back. Why now, after all this time? Beats me. Probably so she can have a maid to do all the housework while she goes out and parties. Anyway, the boys have been trying to keep the little lady in the office so her mum won't be able to find her. Which is why she was there when I stopped by. Yep. And now that she's missing, the boys are real worried. Saki's not a child anymore, though. Couldn't she just call him if she needed to? Call him? Not a chance in hell. Why not? The girl's mute. What? The doctor said it's some kind of mental block. Probably from watching her dad hang herself, hang himself right in front of her. So you see, she can't call us. And that's why she has a sketchbook. Come on, Anaki. We've got to find her as soon as possible. Please? I mean, yeah. We're on an orphanage. This is what we got to do. Yep. Really? It didn't seem like it. He was going to murder me with a sword. <laughs> Wait, <笑>だって兄貴は兄貴じゃないですか。お前は流動一家の若頭だろ。俺はお前の兄貴分でもなんでも。<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Come on, it's adorable. <laughs> and he's a pretty good fighter, too. I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty tough. He's pretty tough. No, oh, we're back in town. We're gonna have to walk from here, Anaki. I remember agreeing to this. <laughs> well, I've come this far. Might as well see it through. Let's get moving, Anaki. Alright, alright. <laughs> You're not gonna ask him to stop calling you Anaki all the fucking time? <laughs> are we going straight there then, are we? Looks like it. We'll do that and then we'll wrap it up because we're nearly out of time for this episode. Lots of uh, family disputes in this episode, getting sorted out. That's the main thing we've been doing. Sorting out stolen monies and stuff. You know, just being a dad. Doing the dad thing. Hey, got a minute? You ran into me a while ago, you know? You gonna pay for my clinic visit or what? Hey, say something, arsehole. Oh shit. Now you're gonna fight both of us, dude. You're super fucked. Oh, you hurt me. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> we got more? <laughs> Fool! <laughs> Man, I love the combat in these games. So good. Jesus, look at him! <laughs> huh? Oh no, did I hurt you? I'm real sorry about that. I hope this is enough to cover your visit to the doctor. No, I'm fine. No, I don't think the doctors get well willing to take charcoal as payment. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Doesn't seem likely, though. Sorry, Doc, can I pay you in charcoal today? That's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Are you okay, dude? Ah, Kashira, Kiryu no Ange. Where's your? Oak this. Sakima de Amori no de Abarete to us. Did he hit you? It's abuse. Your boss hit you. Not cool, bro. Take it up with the union. <laughs> Come on, you pissed bastard. Let's do this. What do you want this time? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about your little lamb problem. But Ikiya told me about what was going on with Saki. Ugh, that's the Ikiya for you. Never knows when to keep his damn mouth shut. This ain't your problem, kitty son. Why don't you go look for it? Can't. Wouldn't be so miserable if it were that easy. What do you mean? She ran away because she didn't want to live with me anymore. I'd just, I'd just scare her off if I went hunting for her now. You'd know that for sure. Why don't you try to figure out why she really ran away? It wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you go now. But Ikiya told me that Saki's mum has been looking for her recently. Maybe Saki just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same difference. Either she wants to be with her mum, or she doesn't want to be with me. God damn it. Am I really worse than that miserable whore? Nakahara. Guess the Yakuza me like, like me doesn't deserve any business. Doesn't have any business taking a kid in the first place, huh? That's not true. All children need is someone who really truly cares about them. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. But how do you know? You think you're some kind of kid expert just because you run a fucking orphanage? I know enough. I was an orphan myself. Huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. And since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more of a father than I've ever had. He might have been a Yakuza, yeah, but I loved him all the same. And I'm sure Saki loves you too. But it's natural for her to miss her mum. She's still just a kid, after all. You... You really think? Of course. Now get out there and find her before someone else does. But... I can't. Why not? Look at me, kitty son. Why would Saki ever want to come back to this mess after seeing her mother? A thug like me can never compare to an actual parent. I'm just going to have to face the facts. Saki's gone. Dude, my dad was a fucking... Kitty's dad was a, an assassin. He murdered people for a living. <laughs> you really think so? Yeah, I do. わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。わかった。
What? It's Tamashiro family Teth. Things will get real hairy real fast if we show our faces over there. Then it's settled. <laughs> We're going Hatsumashi. Well, yeah. But Anaki, I just told you. Hatsumashi's. The only place you haven't looked. I don't care whose turf it is. We're going. Well, you're welcome to stay behind if you think the Tamashiro are really that scary. Like hell that's going to happen. I'm coming, Anaki. Good. Now let's go. Alright. Of course he's going to go anyway. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I can upgrade my abilities. Good. Does that mean we have to take the... Uh... We take the taxi, I suppose. But uh, we need to save, and we need to wrap up for this one. Yes, just keep up, Rikia, would you? God. So yeah, I'm gonna save, and in the next one, I guess we'll find Saki, or at least head to the Tomashiro family turf, and uh, see if she shows up there. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.